up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game and Rebirth DL channel. So what do we have today? Today we have the Nintendo 64 emulator update. Now this is the most recent update for version 1.13. This is called the Dallas X64. Okay, so we go to games and consoles article, which has the information that was released on August 22nd. Now the developer Z2442 has released a new update of the Nintendo 64 emulator version 1.13. It has been a long time since a stable update of this emulator for the PSP and the PlayStation Vita. But now some features that include accurate but fast emulation, high compatibility, active maintenance which is good, many experimental optimizations and more which is awesome. They just keep on doing a great job for the changelog, further improvements to the code optimization including more efficient mathematical system and faster code for the media engine lead to further performance and improvements. The next version will bring rewrite a job manager of media engine making the process of the sound more performing and bringing games like F-Zero X with huge increase in speed. This is crazy. This is incredible keep working at it guys thank you for for working on this now what we will go ahead and do is download the eboot pvp and then we're going to drop it in our nintendo 64 emulator folder so that we can rewrite the old one or you can go to the github where you can get the additional information for this emulator i'll go ahead and leave that link in the description on the releases you can keep track of what's going on with this emulator which is pretty cool so that's all that we need we just need the eboot pvp so we're going to get it ready for our playstation vita now if you are wondering where to get the actual files for the nintendo 64 emulator you can go to my twitter i will also leave a link in the description with the emulator itself okay so then i'm just going to get the eboot pvp and replace it with the one that I had on my old Nintendo 64 files. Now remember to include your ROMs and then you just drop in in the ROM folder that's simply it and then we're just going to connect our PlayStation Vita to the PC via Vita Shell when we press select. Okay so now we have our PlayStation Vita connected to the PC so we're going to go to PSP EMU and then we're going to go to the folder named PSP and after that we're going to select the game folder and you guys can see that I had already transferred it previously so since I have all my files in that folder so I'm just going to replace the eboot PVP by just copying and pasting or dragging it and that's simply it for you guys you probably are going to transfer the whole folder to the game folder inside and then that's it remember to include your ROMs so we move on to the PlayStation Vita okay so now you guys can see that I don't have a bubble so remember that you must have adrenaline installed also for this to work if you don't know how to get adrenaline, it's very really simple. You can go to my previous videos or I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description as well. Now I love this tool, the Adrenaline Bubbles Manager, so that I can create my bubble. So I'm just going to select the emulator that I want. It'll tell me that I want to name it, so I just leave it as Deadless64, okay? And then it'll quickly build a bubble. And look at that guys, we have our Nintendo 64 emulator bubble now I've been playing some of these games and I've seen a bit of a difference now the loading it might take like maybe five to ten seconds to load the menu and then after you're selecting a game you guys can see I like the images of the game which is pretty cool I mean the interface remains the same but this is nice so now I'm just going to select the game so that I can test it out now once you start the game the game might take around 10 to 20 seconds to load so don't panic if you have a black screen if it's around 20 to 25 seconds and you don't see that it's loading then something might be wrong with the game but 
for now it just takes like around 25 seconds to load the game and you guys can see that it is working if you press the PS button it'll give you the menu options you can edit the preferences and more information you guys can play around with it so now I'm just going to do some a bit of gameplay to see how it goes you guys can see that it is running now I did not enable the sound because once you enable the sound it kind of lags a little bit more but hey it's something it's playable it is pretty good so guys go get that Nintendo 64 or follow the developer which he is working hard to update this Nintendo 64 emulator so if this helped remember to hit like subscribe comment share with your friends as always gamer rebirth out